Yo, as I was about to edit this video, I realized I don't have a freaking intro, man. I need to fix that. What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building. Back in the kitchen. Actually, this is where I do all my work, man. This is where the work happens, man. When I do my editing and stuff. Sometimes I wanna watch a, a game. Well, the NBA season about to start up right now. But nevertheless, man, how you guys been doing, man? Yo, I finally dropped the Outlet Plug dot com website that's right it's called the outlet plug dot com pull up see if there's anything worth purchasing and you know what I'm saying go ham anyways man I decided to go to the Nike outlet on International Drive I've been there before you guys see me do multiple videos there and I went in there I was like yo I already record everything I could possibly could it wasn't much change or any rotation of shoes so I was like yo let me go to shoe pals and see if there's anything worth recording there and I did and it was so I'm doing exclusive outlet vlog of shoe palace and yes Shoe Palace is in the outlet. This is a outlet Shoe Palace store. <laughs> so they get like new releases, they get limited shoes, um, you know, whatever normal Shoe Palace will typically get, they get 90, 89% of shoes they get as well. But the caveat is they can't sell it until 30 days afterwards. So to drop a pair of shoes on the first, they gotta wait 30 days to sell it. That's why I was been told. That's my story and I'm sticking to it man but anyways i pulled up and i was like yo i can't believe they got this and this and that and it's still and they got some shoes on sale they got shoes that, that came out like two three years ago man so let's see what they got um well i already know what they got it's up to y'all to determine um if you like what you see or not but anyways man this is my intro let me go and edit this video man peace I could do a vlog just alone in Shoe Palace, man. They got so much heat. I'm gonna take y'all to the Jordan section. But first, we're gonna look at the Nikes, man. Navy, Yankee blue with the gum sole. What they're hitting for? 229. I feel like I've seen that cheaper. Uh, this bathing ape <laughs> or this ape colorway, 230. These tailwinds, I actually like them. I felt like I owned one of these shoes in the past, not this colorway. If I see the colorway, I'll make sure I point it out and let you guys know. I remember at one point in time, I wanted these joints, yo. These flights. Um, I didn't buy them. They were sent for dirt cheap. They bought them back. These are 119. You got the Bass Paul George, which we saw in the Nike outlet for like 89. They got them here for 109. Then you got the original color here. Black and white joint. Going for 109. Then you got Greek Freaks. Black joint. Silver swoosh. I like the shoe, uh, 119, but they run really small. You gotta get a big size. Uh, the KD12s, all red joint, 150. That's not bad. Then they got the LeBrons. LeBron 17, Laker colorway. I guess this is the newest joint. Look at that Air Max unit. Zoom or Zoom Air Max, I think it's called. Maybe or maybe not. Battle knit, possibly fly knit. Who knows, man. But I actually like this shoe. Um, I'm gonna get a pair of 17s. You hear it first, I'm gonna get a pair of 17s. Another shoe we saw in the Nike outlet. This is going for 229, Nike outlet got for 140, I believe. I would hate to be the person to come here, buy it here first, walk over to the Nike outlet and see it at that dirt cheap price. You got these, uh, what are these, uh, elements? I forgot what they're called. It escapes me, man, I apologize. You got the 90s here, all black. Then you got it and all red as well. I like the red joints. Oh, these 98s are rather 97s. It's pretty dope. 160 though, it's a price. I remember when these sold out, these uh, Vapor Max Plus. What are they going for? They're going for 190. So that's just the Air Max section. I told you, I'm gonna take out the Jordan. So we're gonna keep going through, see what else Nike is here. I like this colorway. Where are they? I feel, yo, where are they called? I forget what they're called, man. It escapes me, man. I apologize. But I like this colorway. 119 is the price. Then you got the elements on the very top. And then you got the um, Epic Reacts at the bottom. Let's come over some more Air Max. I think I showed this. As, no, I did not show pictures of this, but this is the Air Max 97 with the glow in the dark. Also with the inf infrared, the 3M print on the upper. 160 is the price. You got the all black joint with the white sole, not a fan. But yo, check these 98s out. I believe these are the Phoenix Suns. I could be wrong, man. They're going for 160. I want to say these are the Phoenix Air Max 98s. But I could be wrong. What else they have? Oh, they got the multicolor 
97 joins us here as <laughs> here max 97 um what do you call that man yo i am joining the blank man i think i need to get some food tie-dye joints 97 tie-dyes what else man oh these 95s are funky i haven't seen these joints it's like purple teal gray i like this colorway man 180 for them this is kind of dope man I have not seen this shoe before we also saw this we also saw this at a nike outlet these are tailwinds or maybe not um they're going for 180 nike outlet have them a lot cheaper um just throwing that out there man just want to you know, let y'all know what i've seen and the prices i've seen them for air max one with the multiple swoosh 130 is the price it's cool more vapor max i haven't seen this vapor max before but i like the colorway though man 200 for it though multiple different vapor max and well stay i don't want to be dropping shoes in a uh, shoe palace uh, 190 for this vapor mats. Okay, they got the Odell Beckhams here, OBJs, and this. Uh, I actually like the colorway, man. I'm not mad at this shoe at all. Going for 200. Still on the shelves. 720s, more 720s, 720s, 720s. More ear or vapor max on the very top. The white joints, the black joints. Air Force lows, man. Multiple pairs, gold swoosh joints, bronze. The leather on here look crazy. All kinds of Air Force, man. Look like the linen joints, almost, barely. All white joints. You got the Miz right here. Yeah, I can't rock Air Forces no more, man. It's on a lot of them. You got the all black pair here. What else? Oh, you got the Hirachi joints, red. They're going for 99. Black joints, same price white and platinum good. yeah i'm doing good what else they have man yo what are these i have never seen these before yo, they're harachis too 119 with the strap on the back they got them in multiple different colors man you got this uh olive green same price 129 last but not least you got this colorway too as well same price, yo. I've never seen these Hirachis. Yo, they're killing the Hirachi line, man. They're just doing too much with them. All right, so we're going to go through the canvas joints and the Cortezas. Nah, I'm just kidding with you, man. This, I mean, this is just plain as day. Pretty much it's just all black and white. Black and white, maybe maroon mixed in, white and black. It's not much there, but continue with the Nike joints, man. The LeBrons was his last model, so what this would have been, the 16s, 160. They got the 17s on shelf again. The flight we looked at. Oh, they got the penny joints. These are huge, bro. Or a phone posit. I don't want to call these the pennies. Maybe they are the pennies. Yep, there are the pennies. But it's a big shoe. Um, so it's in the outlet. They're going here for 130. I think the outlet had them for the same price. But they also got this penny joint right here. All white. I haven't seen this colorway. $80 for this joint. That's not a bad price. I'm not even mad at that price. It's an old school nostalgia. Got into the nostalgia look and feel. Very bulky though. And then you got the bathing ape. <laughs> ah. Air up tempo, man. With the air on the side, plastic on there like a billboard. They're going for 160. Hard pass though for me. Yo, finish up with the Nikes, man. Some more LeBron 16s, which I've probably seen. 184 for those, the purple joints. Well, these are going for the Laker joints, 160. That's pretty much it. Oh, don't forget the Greek Freaks. I think it's like his salute to his father. I think this is this pair. Something rolls. I could be wrong, though. Um, that's pretty much it for the Nikes. Let's take it over to the Jordan side. Ultra Boost. <laughs> 130 for these joints. It's like a gray and black joints. Orange and white, 130 as well. Not bad. I'm not even mad at it. But look at this Reebok though, going for 80. I've never seen that before. What this is called, man? Anybody know? Leave a comment down below. Not bad for a Reebok. Price is good, eight dollars. Now here we go, man. The Jordan line, bro. There's a few Jordans in here, man. I'm gonna try to get real, get right to them, and get through them. Chlorophylls, 
Oh, shit. $99 is cheaper than the Nike outlet. Right across the hall. FIBA. Not FIFA. FIBA. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, the fours. <laughs> Y'all been killing me in the comments, yo. Yo, 200 for this? Yo, like I said, it got to be under 100 for me to remotely pull the trigger on that. Right? So, ain't this the... Ain't these the cement fives? I, thought, I don't even, even remember seeing this shoe. I don't even know what year this shoe came out. Was this a this shoe came out last year? What's the production date on this, man? I don't even know. But they're going for 190. It's a size 13. They here in the outlet just chilling. And then you got these Knicks fives, man. Hard pass. These came out not too long ago. They're going for 119. If y'all care for for them, I'm not. I don't. I'm passing. Oh, the Michigan Fives, man. Michigan Fives are still available multiple places. What they got them here for? Two twenty-five. You really? I don't remember this shoe being a two hundred dollars shoe. Am I mistaken? Or did it just jack the price up on me? Maybe that's a mislabel. Yo, two twenty-five. Is that right? I don't think so. Let me know down below. I'm gonna have to do my research on that shoe. We'll come back to that. Oh, the satin breads, bro. Satin bread fives. Uh, 150 for this shoes on sale. I'm not sure what size they have here, but if you then cop and you still need them, they're here. If you want to pay below retail, and then these sixes, which I do own, got mine at the Nike outlet. Um, 130 is a good price. I pay roughly probably the same for this shoe, the six. Remind me of the Olympia six. A lot of people didn't like this shoe. I did. I think they're dope. Um, but yeah, 130. Now here's a shoe. I know a lot of you guys haven't seen in the store for a while. These are the Nike Alice. As I can remember last year in August. I remember because I was gonna buy this shoe over to Travis Scott's, but I left it on the shelves. Drove back to the Nike Alice where Travis Scott's were at and picked it up. That's the last time I saw this shoe in the outlet. Now here they are in Shoe Palace. Uh, they're going for 119, this is a size 13. Unfortunately, they don't have no other sizes, man. The Platinum 7s, pure Platinum 7s. Oh, you got the Orlando 10s, which I do own. Love this shoe. Definitely a uh, staple for if you're a Magic fan or if you're from Orlando. Uh, 10s, uh, a lot of people don't like 10s. They bring back the pack again, the Seattle 10s, by a drop this week. Depends on when you saw this video. If you see it afterwards, then the shoe's available. I should look a Foot Locker, the Seattle's that is. But these should be still available. I don't think these sold out. Cap and gown 13s. Yeah, I can do it without them. Um, $200. I do remember them being that pricey. And moving over here, the Olive 13s, man. 130 is the price. They're on sale. These were also in the outlet, and I passed. I kind of regret it, man. People think it's a funky color. It's cool. I will buy it now. Um, kind of regret not getting it, but I, I would need the price to be cheap. It's going for 130 here, though. It's passed for now. And then the shoe that majority of us have, the Laker 13. I think it's the Laker 13, which I call them these. But they're going for 190. I'm um, sure you can get them cheaper now, maybe on Nike, maybe at Foot Locker. Shoe Pass will have them for retail gang, though. But let's take it on top, man. Let's take it here, man. Y'all looking at the, what these are called? I forgot. <laughs> they're joining one. Bro, I forgot. Yo, my mind's joined a blank on these. The Crimson Pink, I think that's what they're calling them. Uh, what size is this? Size 12. Uh, they're going for 160. They're available here in the store. Pull up if you care for them. Oh my goodness. The Phantom Joints, Phantom Ones. These also a size 12, I believe. Yep, size 12. They're hitting for $99, $100 for these joints. This is a lot cheaper than what I paid. It's a lot cheaper. I have seen them at the Nike outlet. Actually, the Nike outlet was the last place I saw these joints. Um, and they were hitting for that. They were hitting for like maybe 110, 119, but they're here for $99 in my size, the Phantom Ones. Now here's another shoe, bro. Whoa, here we go. The Coutures. This is the first Couture joints that came out with that band stripe across the uh, midfoot, which I like. Material is not the best, but I'm in. There's pros and cons for each shoe, and that's a, definitely the con for this shoe, just the material. They're going for 174. I think this was a $200 shoe as well. Um, yeah, 175, man. I have it. Happy to have it still. 
I think that's about it for the retros. Set four. Oh. These think Tinker threes. Yeah, man, they're probably going for retail. You have 200, which I've seen them on Nike or no, Pivot Sports for 139. I think that's the cheapest I have seen them for, man. Still want to get in my collection. Currently, I have the Air Max colorway uh, with the pullaway straps. But this shoe is dope, though. I like it. The rest on top are mids. I'm not sure if you want me to go over that. Just give me out a quick pan of all the shoes that's on the shelf. This is the Jordan section. Yo, I came up here to do this outro, man. <clears throat> Yo. Shoe Palace has some has some decent shoes, man. Yo, those Jordan 1 fans for $99, I would have pulled the trigger if I didn't have that pair of shoes, man. I think it's a good price for that. Those uh, Platinum Pure 7s, those joints came out, or Pure Platinum 7s, they came out 2017. I went and researched those. Um, I wish they had my size. I would have copped them. The last time I saw them was, like I told y'all, if y'all haven't watched my Travis Scott Nike Outlet pickup vlog, it was in that vlog because I drove to the clearance store and I saw them and I was like, yo, this is going to be my consolation prize because I was going to wait in line to get those Travis Scotts. And I thought to myself, you drove an hour to play yourself. So I drove back and that's how I copped the Travis Scotts. But I left those on the shelves and it's been over a year since I saw any of those Pure Platinums in the shelves, man. Those, um... Cement fives, they did came out. I forgot when it came out. I think it was like a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, wasn't sure I went after, so there was no need to pick them up there. Plus, it was a size 13, so they had a lot of old shoes. From what I was told, they had shoes from other shoe pals that then sold in the mall. So they sent them there, you know, just to get their stock up and to make more sales. But they do get uh, retro Jordans uh, day of release. They just can't sell it. That's what I've been told, man. So I'm only passing it on to you guys. That. Um, shoe plows was in the I'm looking this way because the lights this way so maybe I should fix myself this way um, that shoe palace is in the is in the international well on international drive um, you can definitely pull up there and you never know man you can pull them today I mean people keep it on the calendar they know what day these shoes comes out so they can just go in there and see if there's available um, that's the thing but you never know what you're finding there man you never know but anyways I'm gonna wrap it up right here man the shoe sale is still on and popping visit um, outletplug.com you know what I'm saying I hope you guys can find some gems for affordable price that you may may want in your collection man other than that you already know my slogan if you like this type of content you want to see me keep doing this type of content hit that subscribe button man hit that notification bell as well everybody else man you already know well leave your comments down below you already know my slogan good to go it's a wrap wrap wrap